We should. Okay. We got evidence that this happened. <laughs> all right. So let all the panelists wave good morning to everybody. And I'm going to start sharing my screen. You all are so beautiful. I miss seeing my sisters. Y'all had a good time with chapter, um, what was that, five and six. I mean, held it down. That was beautiful. Share screen. All right, here we go. Good morning, good morning, Laverne. Good morning, Michelle. I got your text message. Yes, Michelle is working this morning. She would be um, a panelist with us as well. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, thank you for chiming in. All right, so here we go. Discerning the voice of God, how to recognize when God is speaking. This is like every child of God's. This is like every um, um, follower of Christ. Is, is, I'm, I'm on a, I wanna say our greatest dilemma, but it's actually not. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a, something we have to cultivate and a skill that we have to learn mm -hmm. when he's speaking, how to discern his voice, because God is not like you and I tangibly where I can see you, talk to you, hold a conversation. I can feel you, look at you and just put my hands on you. And so we have to learn as we walk this Christian journey, as we go through experiences and um, how he communicates, how he sounds, what, is, what does he feel like? What does he even want? Mm -hmm. This book lays it out. No questions to be left unanswered. I am so enjoying this book and I know that the panelists are as well. Good morning, Teresa. As we go back and forth in conversations between chapters. So we're gonna dive into chapter seven and eight. I just wanna encourage you, if you haven't purchased the book to do so, mm -hmm. wonderful investment. Amen. Yes, wonderful investment. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is just for my soul ministries, as I stated earlier. Our vision and mission is there for you to see it live and in color. If you're just joining, I'll repeat it. Peace and purpose for the soul through truth, love, and relationship is our, our ultimate vision our overall goal for this ministry, how we get there through loving and serving everyone four ways, biblical teaching, personal testimonies, prayer, and mentoring for the glory of God. And I just want to put a plug in right here, that personal testimony. We have testimony interviews. If you missed our last testimony interview, you missed a soul stirring, blessed, treat for your heart go to our youtube channel because it is there it is recorded with our own linda hewlett minister linda hewlett mm -hmm. oh my gosh how she found love through loss mm -hmm. how she found true love through loss so please please go to our youtube channel just for my soul and you can type in cheryl my name c-h-e-r-y-l or just for my soul, Oliver, O-L-I-V-E-R, either way to get to our YouTube channel, click on playlists, click testimony interviews, and you will see the interview I'm speaking of. So I just needed to say that right there because I've gone back to look at it a couple of times. These are our beautiful panelists, these eight women of God that make a continual sacrifice um, I love them. I love them. But this sacrifice they're making is not for me. They're making it for God. They're making it for their intimacy with him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Earlier this week, um, I, I prayed for them and, and spoke to them. And I want to say it publicly as well. All of these ladies got their own kingdom feel. My God. 
they they they're tilling ground. Mm. They 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 turning over rocks. Okay, all of them got their own kingdom space. I'm so grateful that we can come together to replenish ourselves mm -hmm. because just like you all, we can take what we're learning out to the field. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So not only are we being filled up, girded up, growing in our intimacy, mm -hmm. we're also getting a word to give to somebody else that's going to be in the field of influence God gives us that needs to know what he sounds like. Amen. So it's filling us and preparing us at the same time. So mm -hmm. I just thank God for these names that you see on the screen. And I pray for the territories God has them taken over for the kingdom of God. The Amen. souls, the lives. And you know, when you plant a seed, that thing has the ability to multiply into a small forest or a huge. Mm. You mm. have no idea. And it was one seed. Mm. So let us not take for granted a seed of a smile, a seed of a kind word, a seed of prayer, a seed of giving, a mm -hmm. seed of listening, a seed of encouraging. Mm. All of us have field of influences. Thank you. We got to make sure that we're stepping in that territory for the kingdom of ground because we can go and influence our field some other ways now. There was a heartwarming book study, uh, um, almost like a, a, a book review um, that Michelle Garcia held earlier this week, and it was called Women of Influence. And she was talking to a group of people about Deborah. Mm. And she said, we have so many things as women that we're trying to make marks on, altering our bodies, all kinds of stuff that we prioritize that actually leads to nowhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she compared women today to women of Deborah, the, the character of Deborah, and I won't get into it, but how to be a woman of influence. That thing was powerful. Mm -hmm. And her goal is to redirect the heart of our young women because of the things that they're prioritizing when they were created to make a mark in this world and have influence. She needed mm -hmm. to remind them of that. So God bless each of you. Um, again, I'm just grateful for your sacrifice. I know that um, all the other things that your hands go to keeps you busy. So to God be the glory for your lives. Now, let us jump into chapter seven. Maybe this book, this, this book is something else. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all might as well go on and get started this book is something else okay i had to give my sisters they their public love and kudos mm -hmm. um because now they finna blow y'all head off because i already feel it coming <laughs> i do too i had to give my sisters you know lord <laughs> jesus we working and folks in college and folks in school and just all kinds of directions we going. But we take time to get into this right here. So as our author has so eloquently given us all of these, she has 10 chapters on discerning him. This is probably to me um, um, very endearing because it's something I, I've tried to live by. This is he brings peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can discern his voice because he brings peace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now she jumped on into this thing now. Pages, what I have on the screen, 105 to 107. We're just going to, we're going to look at those pages right now, my panelists. Now this opening scripture John 16 and 33, I'm going to read it for you. You guys go ahead and get your comments ready because I want to know what you got from just those first three pages. We're going to get into the rest of it. I have some bullets on the screen, but I want to hear what else you may have gotten 
in those pages. John 16 and 33 states, these things I've spoken to you that in me, in me, in me, mm. Mm. you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, mm -hmm. but be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. What a father statement. Mm. Amen. What a dad-like statement. Mm -hmm. What a statement that should leave a footprint in your heart. Yeah, yeah. That I can be in this world that I am guaranteed to have tribulation in. Mm -hmm. But I can get in my father, in me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and he mm -hmm. says, be of good cheer, because guess what? I don't already overcame this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to have some tribulation now. Assured. <laughs> but I got some peace. Uh -huh. Now, look at this scripture and what it compares. He says, in me, you're going to have peace. That's a statement. That's a fact. That's a promise. Long mm -hmm. as you're in me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, there is some other types of pieces, mm -hmm. but they're temporary. <laughs> they cost. Mm -hmm. okay? They cost you something. They're temporary. All right. Yeah. They're limited and they can only go so deep. Mm. He says, In me, you will have peace. Mm -hmm. And he comes back like a good father with some reality. In the world, you will have tribulation. Mm -hmm. Okay, You will have tribulation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then he cuts the sting of it by saying, but be of good cheer. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Baby, you can just stop right there. Whatever you Come dealing on, with. <laughs> we're we're in the world, so we're gonna have tribulation. We're gonna have relationship issues, family issues, mm -hmm. job issues, health issues, church issues, crazy people issues, crazy mm -hmm. self issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crazy self issues. Okay. You're gonna mm -hmm. have tribulation. We're in a fallen, sinful world, but Mm. But be a good cheer. Yeah. Because I overcame the world. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Anything Thank you going to experience in this world. Thank you, Jesus. You can start your proud by saying, God, I'm coming to you because I know you already overcame it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. That's a proud opening. Thank you, Father. Yes. Father, thank you for your peace. Thank you for covering me for your peace. Because mm. I'm in you. I'm trying to stay in you. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for mm. already overcoming this yeah. tribulation yeah. I was going to have. Thank you, God. So just show me how to stay in your peace as I go through it. That's right. That's right. All right. I'm going I'm to shut up now, but y'all already know that was, <laughs> that's like one of my favorite verses. Oh, mine yeah. too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You talk about a favorite verse to memorize. All right. 105 to 107. He says I'm, his peace. I'm gonna jump in. I'm, I'm on class seven. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on, and I'm like, I got a, I'm on class seven because I'm like, Lord, keep me grounded while I'm on the highway. <laughs> I can't float to cloud nine in the moment, but uh, you know, you I have to give you guys my my poet uh, clap. So. It, this has all just been amazing and you guys kind of keep me grounded because as I was explaining to you before, all of the ingestation of seven and eight, I begin to regurgitate all over my daughter. Uh, you guys know the journey from uh, fervent of how to choose the college and where she mm -hmm. should be and it didn't have all the bells and whistles and but we were very solid and this is where God spoke. 
this is where God led us. Let's go forward. Several things have happened and it's like, hold on, Jesus, what is this? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the experience there of she's at a tournament right now in, in Midland, Texas. Um, she plays today at two. They played yesterday and the day before. And she is now experiencing some difficulties. The very first difficulty, which I thought was her brick wall, was um, techniques that were being taught as far as weight training began to disturb her knee. And y'all know she had two knee surgeries. Mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit of background. And so we made adjustments. She's better. She's playing. And now she's having adversity with folks on the team, coach, all of this stuff. She was even just told yesterday, I'm sitting my freshman down and playing my sophomore. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of background. And it's like, oh, wait a minute, Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're trying to go to the next level. If she is not on the court playing, how are we supposed to get to the next level? And the point of I have already set you up for victory. I have already done all these things. Here go your trials. Here go your tribulations. It doesn't matter what you're experiencing because you already have the victory in the midst of what is going on. So let the wolves set themselves up to devour you. But I already have it. They can't eat up your flesh. They cannot eat up the blessing that I have already put in, in mo motion for you. Mm -hmm. And I just, I know, I try to keep shutting myself. It was like, I just wanted You're breaking it after we, God put it in my spirit after we talked to stay the course. It's just simply amazing. My God. My God. Bless your heart. Bless yeah. your heart. Thank yes. you for that. Mm -hmm. Even in the midst of, and that's going to come up a little bit later in mm -hmm. this, this chapter, mm -hmm. but I want you to hold on to what Tanil just said to us. He can give you peace about a decision mm -hmm. while you're having tribulations in that decision. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can have peace about a decision and he yeah. can hold you steady in a decision. Uh -huh. That's how, that's what she started out saying. Uh -huh. We uh -huh. know this is where God sent us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We had peace about this thing. Uh -huh. Now that we're experiencing tribulation in it, we're going to hold steady. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. And the, and the book talks yeah. about having peace uh -huh. in the midst of a difficult mm -hmm. decision, a decision you really right. didn't want to make, okay? That's and so right. the author goes into talking about, I'm leaving, I'm, I'm, in, I'm on page 106, okay. uh, one, two, third, fourth paragraph. I'm leaving you with a gift. He mm -hmm. told them, peace of mind mm -hmm. and heart, okay? Peace in himself, a gift of peace himself. How... And why is peace a gift? How and why is peace a gift? I think when you take the consider take into consideration the opposite of peace, mm -hmm. the chaos, the confusion, the mm -hmm. impact it has on your thoughts and your health and everything. Mm -hmm. I think just that consideration in and of itself lets you know why the peace of God is truly a gift. Yes. If you just consider what the opposite of peace looks like, right. mm -hmm. then you know that the peace of God is truly a gift. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And to coincide with Pat. You know, Absolutely. The peace of God is more. something that we certainly cannot attain for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. right. Minister Edwards. We're, we're born into, we're born in sin, right? We're born in a world that is broken. And mm -hmm. peace is a gift that only God can give because we're born into, like Pat said, chaos. We're born. Mm -hmm. Many of us had um, the odds stacked against us while we were being formed in our, our mother's womb. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a gift for that, that reason. Amen. 
Amen. And just to piggyback, Reb, off of everyone, um, the same as you, I love this, the verse, uh, John 16, 33. Mm -hmm. And God's peace is a gift because he offers it. It says it in the, at the beginning of that scripture. Mm -hmm. He says that you may have peace mm -hmm. in him. In him, you may have peace. That word may sticks out for me because that, that's an action word that we have to receive the offering. Mm -hmm. That he's just offering, offering his peace to us as a gift. And I'm going to take it with both hands. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Right. And Miss Linda, I was going to, that's, that's exactly what I was going to say. I feel like it's a gift, number one, because it came from him. It that's came right. from God. Um, and, I, you know, and, and the author just says, you know, it's a permanent restful assurance. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. um and you know i and i think about that and i and i just heard um tanil's um and i don't not me to jump ahead but when she said what she just said and on page 107 it talks about the characteristics that release into your soul a peaceful assurance a peace that you can sense deeply even when chaos is swirling around that's right even though that's going on with shanna that's a, if there's they have a peace about it god says to stand stand still stay there that's right that's right, that's right. Mm, that's security. Mm. And we have to also on page 126, you know, this piece being a gift and you guys have said it, said it and you're saying the same thing in beautiful, different ways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That opening scripture that I read and mm -hmm. we think about the world <sighs> and at any time what you can experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 At any moment, we're not promised the next moment is going to be something we desire. Yes, right. That's right. right. To have someone give mm -hmm. a gift, to give you something mm -hmm. right. that is strong enough mm -hmm. to devour, mm -hmm. consume, mm -hmm. snatch you out of. Ooh. calls you to sustain, survive. Yeah. It is a supernatural gift. And mm -hmm. I want to read to you on page 126, it's the last paragraph. Um, and he says here, he's focused, Jesus was focused on peace. In fact, it was the first word he spoke to his followers within hours after his resurrection, mm -hmm. peace be with you, mm -hmm. John 20 and 19. Mm -hmm. Okay. He knew we would need a, and page 107, it says that when he speaks, this persistent, confirming, personal, um, peaceful assurance, I hope yeah. I heard somebody say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an element of his character, it's mm -hmm. who he is. Mm -hmm. So you got to look at it as everything that can happen to me in this world, the God of peace, First Thessalonians 5 23, the God of peace himself. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Got you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's something you got to experience, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The one time that I can remember young in my walk, mm -hmm. my husband was laid off for a period of about two and a half years. Mm -hmm. It was okay because I was still working. You know, I think I had like three jobs. And I'd never gone through a layoff, but the company changed that I was working for. And I'm sitting there in HR. They call you down. You're in the middle of your work day. You know, you're making it happen. And um, she said, well, the government has made some changes. We're going to, you know, we're going to have to lay off several people. You will be one of those. At that moment, something came over me. And it wouldn't let me move into a fret. Mm. It wouldn't let me shift into a panic. It wouldn't let me break out and start crying and get anxious. 
it's almost like I was just stuck in peace. Mm. So I called home and I told my husband, and it's funny now, it wasn't funny then, but it's funny now. And I said, hey, I just been laid off. So he has like a meltdown on the phone. I said, look, I cannot talk to you because what I got right now, I'm trying to keep. <laughs> and I hung up on the boy. He laid out, I hung up. Click. Because <laughs> I wanted to stay where I was. That's right, yes. It's like yes. somebody grabbed me by both arms and said, you're going to be all right yes. and believe that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I came home, you know, because I, I was laid off. So I came home. I was like, take all that I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that advice, anybody. Don't tell nobody that. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I'll take all that I know. Because I'm, I'm holding on. In less than 24 hours, as a matter of fact, it was about 22 and a half, 23 hours. A facility called me for a job. And I said, God, this is why you wouldn't let me move. So that was like a, a young baby Christian experience, you know, early on. But yeah. I will never forget that, that, oh my God, it was almost like a concrete barrier came up and said, mm -hmm. you can't pass this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then throughout, I had to learn how to get into that place on my mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like he was taking me as a baby and showing me what it feel like. But this is who I am. I was like, yes, Lord. And I wasn't going to let my husband or nobody else take me out of what I knew was him. Couldn't nobody mm -hmm. do that but, but, but mm -hmm. God. And so then when other things came up, I just ran back to that place. I didn't have to feel it anymore because I'd already believed it. Yeah. I didn't have to feel it anymore. Mm -hmm. So when we say that, how is peace a gift? Because he died for you to have it. Why is peace a gift? Because he's God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Only God can come against the hell in this world and the hell result of sin. And mm -hmm. say, peace be still in my child's Amen. life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I want you to start sizing up your other resources of peace. Mm -hmm. If you drink it, if you smoke it, if you sex it, if my you God. gamble it, my if God. you shop it. Mm -hmm. Come on, speak truth. If you, if you act out, you yell. Mm -hmm. Whatever other avenues of peace you got. I just need you to size it up to what I just said. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. How he died for us to have this peace. Why? Mm -hmm. Because he's God and he loves yeah. us. That's right. Right. That's right. So we have to get to the point where we look at obstacles and say, Am I really gonna let you take my peace? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Children, right. husband, right. jobs, right. family members, health issues. Amen. Amen. Now I, I may feel what I'm going through, but mm -hmm. you're not gonna take my peace. See, this peace surpasses all under the same. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You so know, I'm Reverend here. Oliver. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. To that, you know, all of that when you were saying what what peace are are you um, absorbing? And the author on one oh I think it's one oh six, she even breaks down that. God's peace is permanent, it's restful, it's mm -hmm. assurance, and it cannot be diminished or destroyed. So all of that other stuff that people are using as temporary peace, it's fleeting. Yeah. The moment you get it, it leaves you. Yeah, yeah. My gosh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know, Reverend Oliver, you mentioned John 20, verse 19. And as I was reading, I just kind of envisioned because this is after the resurrection that he says this to the disciples, mm -hmm. peace be with you. I just imagine him showing his, the prints from his mm -hmm. nails and I've overcome, mm -hmm. you know, the Bible doesn't say that, but that's just mm -hmm. me and my visual mm -hmm. dramatic 
<laughs> analysis of it. And it's like, I've overcome. Peace be with you. It's, it's okay because I've overcome. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, you, as Sister Linda said, may have peace. Yeah. It's just, it just blessed me to think about he could, if he wanted to point, and we can think about those scars that he bared for us. And he, he can say, peace mm -hmm. be with you. I've overcome. That's uh, right. That's right. That's right. And it just made me also think about how sometimes people in the world use other things um, that they think will help them through a situation. Mm -hmm. And they really need to be picking up Jesus, you know, with that inner peace. I mean, some people use alcohol, I'll take a pill, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna right. do it this way. And like you said, Reverend Allah earlier, you wake up and it's still there. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. Right. Mm -hmm. that's 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 not a so you so you went whatever to a bar went with your girls you mm -hmm. got drunk got you know did all this stuff and then you know you you, the, you wake up the next morning what did you saw it's still there yeah, yeah. yeah. but if you would have picked up jesus picked yeah. up that word yeah. ate that scroll yes. found right. in that word exactly your situation and and stayed on that and got with your sisters and say please I need you to cover me because I'm going through this. Yeah. That's the peace that right. Jesus is giving you. Amen. Not that bottle, not that irking jerk. As all my husband said, that wolf milk. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I was yes. thinking, uh, Oliver, I was thinking about how, <laughs> how we even as believers maybe deceived by some of the pieces we, we look for as well, like yeah. validation from friends, uh -huh. ungodly yeah. counsel, uh -huh. people we know they're going to be in our corner, even when we're not right, or, That's you right. know, um, affirming our wrongness. Amen. Mm -hmm. All those things are still temporary peace. Mm -hmm. And if we don't watch it as believers, we'll assume That's right. that we're okay by still trying to validate our wrongness so we have to be mindful of that as well because okay. right. it That's may not be the overt sloppy drunkness that we're getting into or smoking oh, whatever come on inwardly yeah, our motives that are still not right so, yeah. yes yeah er, you know early on in in my christian walk um right i right. i right. i That's learned good jennifer That's good because the eat off talks about Where she went? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go ahead, Shalita. Oh, I heard somebody else talking. So I, I was just going to say for me, um, early on in my Christian walk, one of, one of the first scriptures I learned um, was Prober Proverbs 3, 5, 6, because mm -hmm. I, was, I was experiencing some unpleasantries mm -hmm. um, of what God was doing. And I was trying to find understanding. And so when I think about peace, I think about understanding. Right. And, and that scripture, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean mm -hmm. not on your mm -hmm. own understanding, mm -hmm. because we, we can't understand what God does sometimes. Because he, he's almighty, he's all powerful. We're not on the same level. So you, I had to find a way to find some peace instead of trying to understand Ugh. what he was doing and just to find peace and in all my ways acknowledge him and trust that he was going to make my path straight and then later on in one of the books one of my favorite books in the bible which is philippians and reverend oliver kind of touched on this scripture and the peace of god well which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So, so, so that's my, my peace. Mm -hmm. yes, you know, yes. I find peace when, when situations arise mm -hmm. and I, I have come to understand and know I, I can't operate in the same mindset as God. Yeah. So I have to rely on his gift of peace mm -hmm. Amen. to get Amen. through those times and to deal with those situations. Right. Amen. 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 Y'all, that was powerful. That, that was, that was Ooh. powerful. You all ministered deeply to my spirit right there. Oh. 
Wow, that was powerful. Yeah, lean not to your own understanding. She said, you don't have to understand this, but you're going to need the gift of peace. That's mm-hmm. right. That's and right. what do you need to even do do that is, is trust. Yes. Yes, trust. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. If you don't trust Absolutely. it, you'll never find peace. Absolutely. Right. 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 Absolutely. Right. But Shalita mm-hmm. put that so beautifully, mm-hmm. guys, to understand. And a lot of times, the reason why we feel like we got to understand it, that's a control thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. That's a control thing. Mm-hmm. 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 And, and we don't know his ways, but right. if we could trust his ways. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, right. that's beautiful. That yeah. is beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, goodness. Yeah. How much slide change? All right. It's back. I'm sorry. I don't even know how long the slide had been changed. <laughs> um, <laughs> talk about the mercy of confirmation to me. That was the bottom of page 107, the last paragraph. When you have his peace concerning a specific situation that does not contradict the edict of his written word and has been continually strong. Mm-hmm. by the mercy of confirmation mm-hmm. you should begin to consider that you're hearing his voice i'm gonna read that one more time mm-hmm. amen when you have his peace concerning a specific situation that does not contradict the edicts of his written word and it has continually been strengthened by the mercy of confirmation, you should begin to consider your hearing his voice. The mercy of confirmation. Why do we need, and if you remember, this is a part of her five M's back Mm -hmm. earlier, Mm -hmm. but the mercy of confirmation. Why do little old us need the mercy of confirmation? Mm -hmm. You know, Jennifer says something often to me, um, and it's been a great demonstration of how beautiful the mercy of confirmation is, something that she knew that she'd heard from God, and as confirmations take place, she just stops and praises God to me like Mm -hmm. it's her first time hearing or experiencing a confirmation. So to me, and I've been able to model that just watching her, I've been able to copy that. So in the midst of things or people or circumstances contradicting what you know you've heard from God, Mm -hmm. it's just beautiful that God is merciful enough to give us confirmation after confirmation after confirmation Mm. as we continue to fix our eyes on him. Because otherwise we'll get confused. It's 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 um she said, and I know, I know we're on 107 now instead of 106, but she talked about, she said, with his peace, even the most dreadful circumstances mm-hmm. could not tamper with his peace. Mm-hmm. And it just mm-hmm. made me think about his word that says, the peace of God surpasses all yes. understanding. Yes. So when you have heard from him and you have that peace about what he said, and then something comes along and tries to contradict that, mm-hmm. it is just beautiful, the mercy of confirmation that God will allow something or someone to confirm what he told you and what your heart grasped that he said. So right. in my opinion, that's, that's in, and, and she models that often for me. And it's, it's just, to me, it's just a beautiful example of what a blessing it is. What, mm. The mercy of God's confirmation. And I think uh, that was good, uh, Patricia. And I think for me, it points out to Jeremiah 29, 11. You know, Uh I know the plans that I think towards you, plans to give Mm. you a future and a hope. A lot of us sometimes want to make sure that we are in God's plan, in his Mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's the mercy of confirmation when you're on the right path, you're reading his word, it's lining up and you know you're, you know, you hear that that inner voice, 
you know, the, the spirit telling you, this is the way walk in it, yes. you know, yes. Uh, right. and that confirmation, uh, you, you know, you may get in a car and hear a song or you may, uh, in the mornings, I've been getting up doing my, my devotion and there'll be, it'll be, it'll be a scripture that may, you know, that I've been given and I'll get in the car and they'll have the same scripture. I'm like, okay, God, what you, what you telling me to do today? <laughs> you know, you know, it's, <laughs> but you know, that's just the mercy of, of the confirmation and, and it feels yeah. good to, uh, confirm that yes. you are walking in his will and you are mm-hmm. walking in his plan. You're walking out, you know, Jeremiah 29, 11. Yes. Me. Yes. Amen. Amen. Today, that like is so right on point. I was carrying my book with me while I was waiting with my mom with her test, and the book fell down as I was getting her out the wheelchair. And the gentleman helping her picked it up. He was like, "Oh, what are you reading?" He looked at the book. He's like, "Oh, okay." He passed by me multiple times. I was in the book. My cell phone kept distracting me. And then finally, I was like, I have to read this. Mm -hmm. Reading the book. And he passed by. And he just starts talking. And I was like, "Uh, okay. (laughs) And he began to say, you know, that book seems really interesting. I've been on this journey. And my wife is trying to teach me. And, you know, I'm learning how to be better at it different things and be more at peace with different things I begin to vomit all over this guy (laughs) about what I I was you know just reading about about how amazing the book in itself is and Mm -hmm. how um the things of this book and he ultimately ends up taking a picture and stuff like that but the confirmation uh, part is where we begin to discuss God's word reveals to us and then circumstances surrounding it begin to confirm Mm -hmm. what God said to us and the the exchange was just so amazing and how God began to reveal Mm -hmm. um, all of these things I believe confirmation for him but also confirmation for me Mm. amen amen Mm. Mm. it gives you strength to obey at least for me Mm -hmm. um I was in I don't know maybe one of the toughest spiritual warfares and Mm -hmm. I'm still in it than I can ever recall Mm -hmm. but I tell you when you know that you've heard from God Mm -hmm. it gives you the strength to just keep moving Mm -hmm. even if nobody else is signing off on it so to speak right right. you know if you can go to his word and it's there and he is um you know like like my sister said there's songs and there's you know or you turn to a scripture sometimes i've just opened the bible just Mm -hmm. to no intentional specific place Mm -hmm. but it was once again a confirmation and it gives me strength Mm -hmm. to keep pushing with my eyes fixed on him right amen 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 Amen. One thing, yes. One thing Amen. that Reverend Oliver always says, uh, if you're contemplating a decision, make sure that you pray about it and you're rock solid in your decision. Right. I yes. can't make it for you. Nobody else can. But when God gives you peace about that thing, mm-hmm. in the midst of chaos, in the midst of suffering, mm-hmm. in the midst of not knowing the known behind where what where your next action will take you. In the midst of being ridiculed, when you are yes. rock solid and God gives you the gift of peace, move. And she says, move, Amen. even if you're scared, right. you better move. Right. You better move. So we have to be rock move. solid so that we can understand how to have that peaceful right. assurance and reassurance and over yes. and over again. So I wanted to say that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Amen. And that mercy, that mercy of confirmation, my sisters, when, when I just see the word mercy, it's like he knows how fragile we are mm-hmm. and yes. he's so merciful. He's going to give us what we need to know it's him. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Amen. He's so he knows we're, we're a little scattered. He mm-hmm. knows we have competing priorities. He knows we are fighting to understand his voice and what he sounds like to us. He knows that we got all kind of different signals coming in. Mm-hmm. So like a merciful father will do, let me continue to say the same thing in different right. ways so you can get it. Get it. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so when I think about the mercy of confirmation, the next thing I want to say to you is don't be afraid to ask. Mm-hmm. That goes back to you having a prayer life. That's right. 
my my 26 year old asked me a question and um it was more and less what do you think about it and i was like no what do you think about it because you got to have peace with it right mm-hmm. and so and i pushed that back because you can't make decisions off my peace right right okay mm-hmm. i need you to feel this thing in your own gut that's good whether i like the outcome or not i need you to feel this in your gut what that's peace good. is and what the lack of peace is. Right. Okay. And he's, mur- I say, so now what you do is go back and continue to ask, mm. should I be doing this? Is this for me? Should I go this direction so that he can give you the mercy of confirmation? Yes. So that puts us back to that intimate place with him. You right. got to ask. That's mm-hmm. right. One of the yeah. probably most life-changing decisions I ever made is when I felt like he he gave me a higher calling to minister his word and I went to God and I said look it's a whole lot of teachers and preachers I don't I don't have to do that there's a whole bunch of churches there's a whole lot of people already doing this okay Mm -hmm. if this is what you want me to do Mm -hmm. a couple things I'm gonna need you to confirm it so I make sure Mm -hmm. I'm not losing my mind right Mm -hmm. second of all I need something different than what I've experienced. If you want me to speak for you, you got to anoint me to change lives. Yeah. Because there's a whole lot of people talking. There's a whole lot of people preaching. There's a whole lot of people teaching, but there ain't a whole bunch of changing going on. Right, right. My God. So if you want me to give, to do this, give me that anointing, mm-hmm. first of all, to break up the own, my own shallow ground and others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I said that. I mean, stretched out, just talking to him like I'm talking to you. I'm honestly yeah. talking, to, talking to you. Um, confirmation, mercy of confirmation. I started to read about biblical women in the word. I've never seen that before. I've never looked at it that way because I came from a, a place in, in spirituality where all of that was men. Right. So he started illuminating women in the Bible. Mm-hmm. And then he did something so funny. A older traditional man said to me, woman of God, you looking like a preacher or something. And I almost <laughs> fell out. Mm-hmm. He had no idea what he said. Mm-hmm. Hours later, one of my great aunts said the same thing. Okay. Hours okay. later, it was this, this thing inside, like, um, you know, how you feel like, when you're disobeying your mother or your father or somebody mm. in authority, not that you've done anything wrong, but you know what you what they want you to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That feeling like my mom on her way home and I know I should have washed some dishes. Mm-hmm. And so finally I just said, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I will always be grateful for the mercy of confirmation because that confirmation was coming in like that. My Amen. Mind. My Amen. Mind. It was consistent. It was persistent. And when Pat talks about it, it gives you a strength and a courage mm-hmm. because then don't ever be mistaken. The enemy doesn't want you to obey the word of God, the voice well, of God. Right, right, right. right. So yeah. then some dear, close, personal family members mm. was like, I don't think women should do that. Close enough to cut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know how mm-hmm. how if the, de- the devil wanted to get to Adam, so he had to use Eve. He couldn't use yeah. no little frivolous person. Right, right, that's right. right. That's right. I, I, don't, I don't think that that should be. So close up, but baby, those two feet had already stuck in the mud. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So even though I love you, even though your comments have power, even though you have major influence in my life, this thing mm-hmm. has been confirmed. Yes, right. right. This thing didn't been rooted. It was already decided for me. And I said, yes. Amen. So I would like to have your support, but I don't need it. Yes. Right. Yeah. But he's Amen. already spoken. That's Amen. right. I would like to have your, your right. uh, agreement, but I don't need it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so that is, is, is mercy for us. Yeah. The mercy of his conversa- com- confirmation. So to know that my father wants to confirm, you know what it makes me want to do, ladies and gentlemen, ask even more. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you <laughs> asked and he gave it to you. Yeah. yeah. And I hate that it's a lot of people around here 
that's doing stuff that that ain't been confirmed. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Bingo. Amen. Amen. I, I'm going to need, and yo, and I can bring up all these biblical stories that are coming up, but I know we got to move forward because this is so beautiful. Um, but yes, yes. Okay. Peace rules, y'all. Peace rules. Peace yes. rules. Yes. Page 108 to 111. <laughs> Jehovah Peace Shalom. Rules. <laughs> Come on. Yes. <laughs> Inner security despite. Ooh. Insecure circumstances. Yes. Mm. Inner security despite insecure circumstances. I thought of many of you all. I thought of, because God has allowed us to walk some things out in oh, life mm-hmm. together yes. as sisters. I thought of so many of y'all when you've had inner security. Yeah. yeah. But the circumstances was like, what? Yes. Yes. And you yeah. need us, you need somebody in your corner mm-hmm. that can understand God, not necessarily what he's doing in your life, but you just understand God. And when your sister calls you and say, Hey, this is what um, I know God is saying for me to do. Mm-hmm. I have learned to stop right there. I don't even want to know the circumstances. Right. Right. Because I'm going to pray for you right here. Sister Tanae was like, Rem Cheryl, we're going to start a church. I was like, not only am I going to pray, I'm going to fall out. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm going to play as clean out on the floor for you, baby sister, because <laughs> ain't none of your circumstances going to be secure. <laughs> none. Oh, my God. My God. None. Baby, I'm just going to just lay out and I'm not going to even get up to the mark. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Sister Shalita. First yeah. lady Shalita, yeah. and I think about all of all of you guys when you were like Linda, oh Jesus, I'm gonna step out, I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna say yes about this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, my 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 knees yeah. are clanging together. I I I have so many unknowns, mm-hmm. but I know. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. On the inside, yes, mm-hmm. he's yes. confirmed it in his word. He's confirmed it in ways I can understand it. Yes. Yes. How do you allow peace to rule? My God. Oh, I want to jump in on this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go back a little bit. So on page um, 107, um, the author wrote, it's a one-liner under that first paragraph. She said, like an anchor holding a ship steady, God's peace gives security. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had to, (laughs) I had to dig deep on this. So I looked up anchor, y'all. You know, the anchors that hold the ships. Mm -hmm. And it gives a um, definition that it penetrates and it burrows into the uh, surface of the seabed. Mm -hmm. And so as Uh, pressure and resistance is created, you know, this anchor, you know, as it's pulled on, it digs deeper into the seabed, Hmm. causing further resistance while stabilizing the boat in place. And I just, I just thought of anchor, the piece as the anchor. And just imagine how we live through life and when trials and tribulations and, and things come, that's how peace rules in us with that anchor. Because every time something attacks us, mm-hmm. God, peace just digs deeper in our soul mm-hmm. and fills us even all the more and strengthens us to keep moving. So that's how I feel peace rules in me. Amen. 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 Uh, on page 110 it says um at the the first sentence of the last paragraph says don't take lightly those decisions and plans the spirit rejects yeah he's steering you back from a cliff of spiritual financial or relational danger Mm -hmm. and so the way to allow peace to rule is to follow the promptings Mm -hmm. of the holy spirit amen Yes. Amen. If you don't have peace about this decision and you move forward anyway, or like it says, you move prematurely or not in the right timing, 
you won't have peace. That's right. But if you follow mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit's leading, that's how you allow peace to rule. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 If you don't have a peace about it, you shouldn't do it. And, and, and just to get back on what um, Jennifer was saying, and it says, if, and like you said, if we're contemplating something that isn't pleasing to God, his peace will not rule. That's, That's page right. one. Two. Yeah. Yeah. That contemplation. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful, my sisters. Ooh. This is beautiful. How do you allow peace to rule? Um, you, you start back at the conversation with God, how mm -hmm. to allow the peace to rule. I, I literally want to step this out for some of us who may be listening. Everything my sister says was correct. How do you allow peace to rule? Number one, take whatever it is into conversation with God. Mm, amen. Step one. Number one, take whatever it is in conversation to God mm -hmm. and be willing, step number two, to not have your desires met. Mm -hmm. If you go into conversation Amen. with God wanting what you want, but I'm just going to go into prayer to check the box that I prayed about it. Mm -hmm. So go into conversation Ooh. with God willing. Mm -hmm. to have that thing look a different way or come out a different way wow 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 so you're That's going good, to god Robert. yes it is. okay yeah. so you're going into conversation with god number one number two i'm going into conversation with god understanding my desires may not be met mm. i'm going into conversation with god number three telling him and desiring his will for this yeah yeah mm -hmm. number four i am committed to opening my spiritual ears my God. because let me tell you something you can i was about to act like my mama right there let me see <laughs> <laughs> you can act like you're fooling yourself hmm. you're not hmm. fooling god that's right. It. That's, That's it. Right. <laughs> when you go and to pray about something, Come on, Rev. but your desire is all, you know, your, your, your desire is the octopus around that prayer. Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. God is not even going to waste time to show you what his will is. Because mm. you've already decided to deceive yourself. Mm. That's right. Hmm. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I've gotten to the point with my children. Mama, duh, 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 duh. it's like they checking in with me, but they already know what they're going to do. Yeah. Then they'll say, well, Mama, That's what right. you think? I was like, does it matter? Yeah. 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 Well, Mama, why are you tripping? I ain't tripping. You just came and told me what you're going to do. You just wanted to check in with me. So how I feel uh -huh. about it don't matter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes we do God like that. Why well, I yeah, prayed yeah. about it. But you, you, yeah, you, that's all you did. Right. Yes. Right. 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 You checked right. the prayer box. Right. But were you ready for God to say, let me show you wisdom. That's let right. me, let me just say no, if I don't show you anything, but right. you know, I'm saying no. And let me see if you will obey it. Right. Mm. Yeah. Right. Amen. So peace rules when you want it to. That's right. Mm. Woo. <laughs> Y'all so gotta good. help me. Y'all gotta help That's me. That's it right there. <laughs> I gotta get a better. Ouch. I gotta get a yeah, better yeah. ministry face. Okay. <laughs> wow. I gotta. I gotta get a better ministry face. I do. I really do. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. I wanna do that to you. I wanna do that to you. I wanna do that to you. Oh, yeah, we absolutely, you. absolutely. Yeah. And uh, what jumped out at me was don't manipulate. Right. Don't manipulate the Holy Spirit. That's right. 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 Mm. Peace rules when you want it to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so true. When, you, when you're willing to go to your father, when you're willing to put the decision on the table, when you, and I'm going to be honest with you, some things that I'm afraid to hear the God's voice about for years, I wouldn't even pray about them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to tell you the truth. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm afraid to surrender this thing right here. 
Amen. Or y'all want to surrender it because I'm enjoying it too much. Yeah. Come on, yeah. 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 Come on. <laughs> yes. So I'm just like, I'm not, not even going to bother God with this. I'm not going to bother Jesus. Okay. I'm not going to waste this time. Mm. So peace rules my brothers and my sisters when we want it to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when God can tell us the truth about ourselves, when God can show us a direction to go in our families, when mm -hmm. God can say, let me give you the words on your job to say this, when God can say, no, we're not going to go that direction. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and it's freedom. It's liberation. Yeah. It's that peace that you are allowing to come in. Some people want to stay stuck in grief. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Some people want to stay stuck. That's in right. Grief. That's right. You have to be a willing vessel for change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you got to work the word. Soul healing is soul work. People That's will come right. and want you to do all the work for their soul. Mm. Yes. People don't no. want to take the prescription. Come on, yep. you give you give yep. the, you go to the doctor. You go because you something is wrong. That's when you go to Jesus. He's the great physician. He's right. telling you, yeah. but you don't want to take the medicine, mm. the res prescription. You don't, you don't want. want to you just want the outcome. Yes. Right. Don't want the responsibility. Of uh -uh. Oh uh -uh. Jesus! <laughs> yeah, I can put yes. some life to all of the examples, but we didn't got that kind of time. So I'm like, right, right. hello. <laughs> so. <laughs> Peace in relationships, and I'll just close out this. She said, you know, be mindful of another person's growth. She yeah. gives this beautiful example about being in college and being a part of a Christian nice. sorority. Mm -hmm. And there was a non-Christian sorority that she wanted to join. She had peace about her decision. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm just speaking hypothetically. She did not say this. Maybe God wanted to use her in that field. Right. You know, so, you know, so she had peace about it, but there were other individuals in her Christian sorority. Um, and she made the point in the scripture mm -hmm. um, that these people were growing. These people were moving. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And right. there was her decision. And she said being immature and young and a little mm -hmm. selfish right. in her decision making, mm -hmm. she didn't consider that her decision would stunt their growth. Right. Wow. Right. She said, please don't get this confused with thinking you need everyone's opinion before you make a decision about mm -hmm. something. You don't need everybody's opinion because everybody that has opinion ain't growing in God. They just yep. got, got an opinion. Right. Yep. Okay. But those people intimately connected to her that were on a growth journey mm -hmm. that may not have had the maturity that she had. She could have held back on that decision for the peace of the relationship. What scripture did she mm -hmm. give for that, you guys? It was uh, the Romans 14 and 19. Romans 14, 19. 19, 19 yeah, on page 112. 112. 112, 112. 14, mm -hmm. 19 through 21. Yeah. Yes. Don't cause another believer to stumble. And That's she right. says to stumble, you actually got to be moving. Moving. Oh, moving. yeah, she got me right there. You got to be moving. Right? Yeah. 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 Actually, stumble, you gotta be yeah. So basically, I'm going to put this down in my own, my own Ebonics. Ooh, no. yes. I don't need a stale Christian's advice. Right. That's right. Right. I don't, I don't need a, a, a backslidden, unproductive. I'm not, you're not. I'm not going to stumble. I'm not going to cause you to stumble because you're not moving. Right. You just have something to say about my decision. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's so right. she was talking about these individuals that were moving and growing mm -hmm. and, and sometimes being leaders in ministries. And that's everybody, everybody right. on this panel. Yes. Is in ministry. Right. Right. We have to be so careful because the people in the field that we have influence mm -hmm. in are growing growing mm -hmm. yes. we can handle that's each right. other's decisions right but they may not be able to handle our that's decisions right. so right. in ministry right. you need confidant i need my sisters mm -hmm. because you guys can handle me at one level where the people that are following and growing mm -hmm. could stumble 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's so important for us to be there for each other, but it's also very important to realize every decision you make. That's right. When God has given you a sphere of influence and it could just be your household. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Children, nieces, nephews. I remember being young in ministry, Mm -hmm. young in ministry, y'all. That that hit that hit that conviction hit me for my baby brother. Mm-hmm. Mm. The Holy Spirit awakened me to the point that the, the, to the fact that this boy was watching me. Mm-hmm. Yes. My God, my God, my God. And I would do what I have to do when I would come home to do something crazy or say something awful. Mm-hmm. One day I looked in his eyes and I say, "Little bro, come here. Let, let's just talk to you." I said, "I gotta apologize to you." Okay, mm-hmm. I could see the stumble in his eyes. Mm-hmm. My God, mm-hmm. my God. And I think if I was twenty, he was sixteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was mm-hmm. the first time I felt that responsibility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, "Oh my God, that didn't feel good." Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, so we have to think about that, and I'm not just talking about leaders in ministry. You know, for yeah. the aspect of title. You're, right. you're a leader in your household, That's parents. Right. Yes. We're all kingdom and kingdom. Yes. Yes. Amen. You're leaders on your job. Somebody can be watching you and they're trying to grow with this. I mean, and they watch That's you. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. So I thank God for that when she says peace in relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, be mindful of another's growth. growth. And then I just yeah. say it at, I just say as advice to those of you who do that. I thank God when he gives you a friend or a confidant Amen. Who's, whose growth you will not stumble being yourself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. You, Amen. you will not stumble. <laughs> you just got to call and be like, yeah. look, you know, yeah. I'm having a meltdown. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, amen. Amen. I want you to tell me to pray about it. I'm already praying. Right. <laughs> I just want to vent. Yeah. Yeah. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen, just listen, listen to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I'm true. I'm so enjoying y'all. So just to wrap up this particular chapter, so we can move on to the next one. I can laugh and talk with y'all all morning. It just says here some challenges in the chapter, and these are paraphrased. So I actually want you to read them um, as the author stated on page 115. When seeking God's will, ask for the confirmation of peace. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Resist moving forward without peaceful assurance. Resist moving forward. I think Tanil said some people jump into stuff without confirmation. That's right. You can be assured by his word when you are not confident in your ability or circumstances. God's direction will not will not encourage you to do something to cause another believer to stumble or cause division. Mm-hmm. And that's right. kind of what we just closed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We just closed out mm-hmm. with. You may have all the peace in the world, but you have to look at those around you and say, mm-hmm. "Could they right. handle this?" That's right. That's you know, right. Could they, yeah. could they handle this? That's right. And so, moving into chapter eight. Um, which was as beautiful, my sisters. Yes, it was. <clears throat> Cages. I'm going to fill out. This is how it's fill out. I the ages. It took me. Ooh. Yes. You and God me is well. consistent with <laughs> challenging us. Mm-hmm. God is consistent with challenging us. Why the challenge, ladies? To make Ooh, us man. better, to challenge. reach our That's potential. Right. Yeah, we got to reach our potential. And that's God. right. That's right. Absolutely. Go yes. higher and higher in Him. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And the only time you need peace is if there's opposition to peace. So that's if you're right. in a state of peace, there's no need for peace. That's Come right. on now. Right. Just said that to share. And, <laughs> and it also just shows his just shows his glory. I mean, I can think of when we share our testimonies, especially for me, sometimes when I share my testimony, I can see, you know, and discern and feel the spirit of the other person when they accept it. And it, it's just sometimes it's like, I can't believe this, this 
woman standing here talking, you know, but um, it, it just shows God's glory. And when it does that, that's all in uh, discipleship because it's attracting yes. another person to yes. say yes to God because it, it, they probably thinking, man, if she or he went through that, God is real. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. yes, he mm -hmm. is. And he, awesome. he has to challenge us so we can remove ourselves. Come on. And allow him. That's Come it, on, right Angelita. You know, yes. Again, yes. that's releasing that control. That's remove right. me. Self-control, that's right. Remove me and allow you. Mm -hmm. Allow yes. you. Allow others to see you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And we yeah, have challenges. And you know, it's when she started off this chapter with the little moth, you know, struggling trying to get out of there. I said, Lord, here we go, here we go. <laughs> and she said, she said, I'm gonna use this as a teaching moment. I say, Oh, yes. there's always sermons and stones. She yes, said, she, she, like, she said, You oh see, God. son, it's important for the moth to struggle. Oh, like, right. or guess what? You oh, will not, God. you will not be able to reach his full potential. I say I'm done. I just find my <laughs> first lady. I'm not, with you. I'm not kidding. Oh my yes. god! Yes. Have you yes. seen the mark struggle? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm done. <laughs> and you feel so terrible for them struggling. You just want to help, and y'all know I'm a fixer. Oh, I yes. am a fixer, oh, no. and so I, it, it's just hard. And I share with y'all before that God has asked me to step out of the way of my yes. child and it's like yes. ooh, so watch your child struggle ooh, because yes, it is Jesus. so hard to set things yes. up for them not to struggle but we're right. we're inhibiting their growth and so me being out of the way now currently watching this struggle in real time in real life in this space has just been amazing because God gets all of the glory even in the struggle That's right That's because right. when you struggle you're going to be so much stronger you want to just oh, cut it and you know like Shanna wants to move she she doesn't want to be where she wants to be and now having the revelation and coming to the conclusion and I explained to her I said Satan wants us to take the easy road yes, because I if I yeah. take the easy road my full potential is never recognized never. So if, I, if I step out of the way then I there's no reason for Satan to continue to interrupt. And we think, oh, but I'm just making it easier for me. But God is like, but if you stand in the challenge, the blessing is so much greater on the other side of what you're having to endure now. That's right. Mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, butter, it, it becomes a butterfly. It's no longer a caterpillar that's right. got to crawl on Come the ground. On. Now he gets to soar high in the sky. Right. Right. the doors of the church is now open no, come on. Amen. <laughs> yeah we can pack up and go home yeah. yeah the doors of the church is now open yeah my weakness is necessary mm. my weakness is necessary mm -hmm. we are too egotistical we're too yes. frail mm -hmm. we're too power hungry yeah. god has to if you look at page 118 yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Noah was asked to build an ark. Abraham was asked to leave home to unknown country. Gideon mm -hmm. was asked to go into battle with less than adequate troops. Samuel was asked to give a tough message to his mentor, Eli. East Esther was asked to plead for the case of her people before King. And Mary was asked to become a mother of the Messiah. You and know, my girl was asked to go start a church. Lord, just and, and, and Tanae was asked to go, <laughs> to go start a church. Lord. I feel you, Tanae. I feel you. <laughs> I mean, I I'm like, it, Lord. God. I love you said, she said, it. You, can, you can add anything. Yes, yes. Yes. Lord, I feel you. <laughs> Thank you, God. Yep. I feel you, Tanae. My, my yes. sisters, my sisters. And they, they just like, God, really, for real, for real, for real, God, really, God, God, really, God, oh, really. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, how does he get the glory? If yeah. we have the power, the power. yeah, right. amen. That's it right there. How does he get the glory if yes. we have yeah. the power? That's, That's right. It. That's it. Okay. That's it. And so he is consistent with mm. challenging us. He's consistent. Yeah. Mm. And then liberty 
in trusting him. Liberty and trusting him, page 119. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Through many dangers. This was yeah. beautiful. Oh, this was beautiful. His yeah. purposes for the challenge, the, the, the liberty, the freedom to trust mm -hmm. him. Now, when you're liberated, that means there's no constraints. Right. There's mm -hmm. no bondage. Right. You can freely trust um, what's coming to my mind right now. And I share this over and over again with like individuals that are doing things, um, you know, in God, as far as starting churches, starting ministries, mm -hmm. starting little book studies or whatever. As I was saying, liberty and trusting him. Okay. And God giving us. And I can take that out of the ministry field. I can take that mm -hmm. out of the ministry. He may be having you start a business, write a book, mm -hmm. start mm -hmm. a little league team, um, going to, uh, mm -hmm. I say, going to business for yourself. Um, you're going to bring on, maybe you're now a caregiver and you've never been a caregiver before, starting a mm -hmm. new job. And oh my God, they are so excited about me, but I'm feeling so underqualified. All right. Liberty and trusting him. Something I say to myself and something to I say to people at these forks in the road. Rest. Take the shackles off yourself. Take the, when you depend too much on you, rest assured is not him. Okay. If, if God has told me, start JMS, I literally put it back on him. Mm -hmm. So if you designed part of my destiny to carry this for you you need to give me what i need right i've done that to god so many times when he he called me to a higher level of ministry within the four walls of the church i said okay god i i, I feel you i got confirmation mm -hmm. um i got a whole family yeah so you gotta make it all right with them so basically whatever he's asking you to do He's going to bring everything you need. That's the liberty. That's the freedom. That's mm -hmm. the deep breath. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Whenever I want to do something that somebody may suggest and I start getting angry and frustrated and mm -hmm. I don't feel that peace, mm -hmm. I just pull back and I say, well, that's something right now that God doesn't want because I don't even have the liberty to trust him in it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And let, me give you, let me just give wow. you an answer. And it was just a suggestion thrown out there. I mean, no, no, no pun intended. You know, um, I got real excited about putting JMS on a podcast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had like negative zero time in my schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I had to go back to the, to the grounds of prayer and say, okay, God. And I could hear the spirit say, I ain't never said nothing about that. That's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's why I'm feeling this way about, you know, pushing it out, pushing it out. But he was like, no, mm -hmm. I'm going to give liberty when you trust me to do what I say. Right. Wow. But at the same time, I felt like, okay, maybe it's time to start writing. And the outline of the book came in about 30 minutes. My, 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 my. My, my, my. When it's something he has ordained mm -hmm. and kissed, I'm not mm -hmm. saying it's going to be easy. I'm not saying you're not going to have to right. pray through some, right. some tough times. Right. But it's his. He's going to supply it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. These ministers that will be struggling for time and acknowledgement. I said, why are you fighting for God to acknowledge what he's called you to do? Mm. Hmm. You remember that part of the word teaches going to make room for you? Yes. 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 Sit yes. Out somewhere and be quiet. Yeah. Sit down somewhere and prepare and make yes. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Makes wrong because then when they come for you and you ain't ready, you're gonna be mad. Mm -hmm. That's right. Don't don't push into something liberty and trusting him. Just I, I give JMS back to him all the time. Amen. Amen. Babe, what you what you want to do, Jesus? Because you know I'm kind of half cocked as it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, I, I don't need nothing new or nothing extra. What you want to do? Right, right. <laughs> and that's the liberty, my sisters and brothers. That's the freedom. That's the 
okay, God, you said it. So now I'm going to trust on you to give me everything I need for it. Right. 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 Yeah. Even if he says, okay, you obey me for a season. Now shut it down. Can we do that too? Mm. 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 Can we do that too? So it's, it's a liberty. It's a freedom. Right. His purpose for the challenge. Mm -hmm. His purpose for the challenge. She listed a bunch of them, y'all. Yes. Yes, she did. Yes. Yes. The bottom of 119. I got to read the last sentence. I may not always agree with his plans initially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm learning to trust him anyway. Anyway, that's Uh, it. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. Okay. Amen. Trust. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Goes back to first lady. Trust. trust. That, 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 your own understanding. That's right. But trust him. Yeah. Right back to that. Exactly. Yeah. Sure does. Yeah. Yeah. That whole paragraph, um, take time to read. She talks about um, her own feelings. This, this is really good. But the last sentence, and then if we go over to 120, and I won't, I'm going to stop and let you guys talk about his purpose for the challenge. Peace doesn't equal easy. Mm. The mm. enemy's goal and his provision. And I kind of spoke about the liberty and trusting him and his provision. Because mm-hmm. if you feel like this is something God is saying for you to do, he's going to provide. Mm-hmm. He's going to, don't mean it's going to be easy. All right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. For instance, I said, okay, God, I mean, I, honest, first of all, if you're giving me a ministry, all right, I mean, you're calling me, okay, got it, Jesus. So I'm going to need you to anoint me. I, I really am because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm unanointed, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I got to be prepared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I get a scholarship. The two degrees I have in theology, somebody else paid for provision. Provision. Yeah. Amen. Right. Provision. Right. Amen. Mm-hmm. provision yeah start a ministry father i have nowhere to hold this ministry that you gave me the little room that we started in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you told me in that room you're going online i said i, I don't know how to do that mm. so he sent me an it person mm-hmm. my, my. provision yeah. provision yeah. yeah it's his provision because it's his instruction yes now we get twisted because we want him to provide a certain way. Right. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Now he may have made the provision and this goes back to uh, peace does not equal easy. My husband was in agreement. I got the money to go back to school. I felt the inklings of a calling on my life. I'm going to tell you right now, not a step in finishing school was easy. That's right. But he made the provision. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing about JMS and carrying it forward is easy, but he made the provision. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're not looking for the voice of God or the discernment to have anything to do with easy. That's right. But we're looking for this liberating peace, this right. courage, this joy. Mm-hmm. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know he said it. I know you said yes. that. Yes. We're going to wait and see too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I ain't got no money. So we going to wait and see too. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Wow. All right, my sisters. That's, that, that's... Talk to me about those last four bullets. His purpose is for the challenge. Peace doesn't equal easy. Easy. Yes. The enemy's gold with this struggle mm. and mm. his provision yeah. in it. Yes. Talk to me. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, for me, I wanted to um, touch in. I think um, I can't remember what page. I was trying to find a page where she was saying um, how the enemy makes you comfortable. Um, and I, I've, I've experienced this for myself early on in my uh, salvation. 
um, I felt like when, when I, the moment I got saved, Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, was combating my sins and turning away from my sins and, and just, uh, you know, trying to live a God-like life the way I thought I was supposed to live it. But then I was lazy with that. I was lazy and I was missing. And when I look hindsight, I was mi- I missed out on a lot of the things the enemy allowed. Uh, I allowed the enemy, get my words together. I allowed the enemy to get me comfortable in the fact to the fact of me not working and doing those things that God wanted me to do because I was scared or I didn't know or just you know, wasn't up for the challenge. So it, we have to be careful that we we are not comfortable with thinking that we're resting in God, but we're thinking that from a physical perspective, you know, instead of um, looking at it spiritual, because as she said throughout these chapters, we are to continuously move, mm-hmm. continuously move. And it's just like Reverend Oliver just saying, even, even though you were waiting and you didn't know how he was going to work it out, yeah. it doesn't may, mean you sit there and you get on your phone right. or look at TV. You still have to move. You still got to pray. You still got to walk in peace. You still right. got to accept those challenges that throws right. your way, you know, and all do it according to his will and power. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Amen. I mean, that's just like us when we um, started the church, when we were looking for a space, my husband had in his, his mind where he wanted to go, where he wanted to be. Um, we had to just both pray, you know, be in prayer. We, you know, a lot of closed doors. Then at the last minute, we got right in our backyard elementary school right in our backyard mm-hmm. I said look at God right right here mm-hmm. so my husband he have an issue with time so you know made us time to be right here <laughs> and challenges I mean with just just starting a ministry you know of his own I mean standing out making sure yes God this is you and he has provided since yeah. we stepped out okay. I mean there's been times mm-hmm. when we're like Lord you know how we gonna you know even from getting our worship I mean it just I was driving one day and I was like, who are we going to get to help us sing? And it just dropped in my spirit. Call this person. Mm. Okay. Call this person. Mm-hmm. And it just so happened that this person was really having a, a challenging time and really what didn't want to sing anymore. Mm-hmm. But God had us connect. And she often yes. just tells us, you know, just, I said, well, that, that wasn't us. That's God, you know, yeah. just telling us how she really didn't want to sing anymore. Right. And when when she got the call, you know, I that's what that was another thing. Confirmation. She got the call to come help and sing it with the ministry, and she's been with us ever since. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and, and it's just God gives us a piece about his ministry and his work, and he's gonna give us and equip yeah. us for what we need, like you said, the provision. And he's yeah, done yes. it and he and he keeps doing yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To name that the, is just so right on point. Go ahead, Patricia. I was just going to say, I love um, the fact that Reverend Oliver, every time God gives you a, a, a challenge or an assignment, mm-hmm. I love the fact that you give it right back to him. Um, mm-hmm. And I, you know, I, I was thinking, Amen. as I was looking at these four bullets, um, I've heard, and we know this already, but I'm, I'm thinking about him. I've heard Pastor Tony Evans say over and over again, our purpose is to glorify God. That's mm-hmm. it. That's what our purpose is to put mm-hmm. him on display. And uh, so you look at the challenge as, as all of you have said, it leads us to rely on him. That's right. It goes right back to just what Reverend Oliver has, has modeled and told us that she does. And we've seen the fruit of that. Yes. And um, I was listening to uh, Priscilla Shire last night as I was driving. And she said, the enemy already knows who we are in God. Yes, and does. she said, he knows also that if we ever accept who God says that we are and accept God's plans for us, he knows we will be, God will be amazing through us. I'll put yeah, it that way. Yeah, yeah. And so when I look at the four bullets, I'm thinking the purpose for the challenge is always to put God on display, to glorify him in everything. Ooh. And the piece, um, no, it doesn't equal easy. And like I said, again, Reverend Oliver just talked about that. The the enemy's goal is for us to never realize 
what God has placed in us and what his right. plans are for us. That's so right. sister Linda, when you talked about, uh, the even fears, I think it's one yes. of the, the enemy's biggest tactics, at least yes. in my life that yes. I'm having to always, you know, repent of and, and relinquish back to God. So right. I just thought about that. Our goal is in everything to put him on display. Play. So right. when he gives us, a, when he t- reveals to us another call or another purpose on our lives, mm-hmm. I just love the fact that, you know, Reverend Oliver, Oliver is like, okay, here it is. Now anoint mm-hmm. me Not to move right. in this. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Mm-hmm. Beautiful. She says on page 120 at the very bottom, and that is the purpose behind the challenge to put us into position to see the miraculous work of his power acting operating in our frailty yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. on yes. 121 mm-hmm. page 121 uh one two about the third paragraph from the bottom it's a one sentence paragraph she's saying that's the purpose behind his challenge to allow his children to see his power Mm. Amen. In the challenge. Amen. 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 To allow his children to see the, his power. And I'm just reading to you some things that I highlighted. Mm-hmm. And then if you flip over to page 123, this is what Linda was saying. Um, second paragraph. The peaceful way is not the same as the easy way. Easy way. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. The peaceful way is not the same as the easy Amen. way. Amen. Um, God will have you do some very uneasy things. Yes. Ooh, like, for instance, to go back and apologize to somebody. Yeah. Oh, yes. Or to be transparent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or to obey something. Mm-hmm. Or to step out on faith when your knees are shaking. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. These things are yes. not easy. No. No. Not at all. Okay. Not. They're but not. when you when I say you have peace about him, he's given per sit, uh, provision about him, and even a courage. That's the liberty. You are right. yes, right, right, right. And I think mm-hmm. now, if I had not been stretched, and always remember this: God's stretchings with an S, mm-hmm. they're leading to a bigger, almost. Mm-hmm crescendo Mm -hmm. oh jesus yes (laughs) these little bitty stretchings here Mm -hmm. let me get you Mm -hmm. let me get you used to people not liking you Mm -hmm. let me get you used to um not having approval of man man Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh god let me get you used to um uh, limited resources right (laughs) internal or external let me get you used to depending on me in prayer. So you're looking mm-hmm. at all of these hurdles and uneasy things. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Let me get mm-hmm. you used to feeling alone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we have all these out of body experience and temper tantrums. And mm-hmm. then when he finally reveals to us later on in life, something he needs for us to do. And you, you have to almost take your classes down and sit down and say, mm-hmm. God, that's what you were stretching me into? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Oh, my God. Right. My God. My God. Mm. She's not She's not on right now, but I'm just going to put, a, put a, all her business like right out there in the street on Facebook. <laughs> well, she already kind of did too. So Michelle had nine, mm-hmm. nine family members and a fiance die in a right under two years. Yeah. And when I look at her today and I see how she's walking, Mm -hmm. I just shake my head. And she was like, did I have to go through that to get here? I say, now, if you're asking me that, because I love you, (laughs) I wouldn't have had you go through any of that. But when you can trust the father to carve out your challenge, Right, mm-hmm. right. To create and sculpt mm-hmm. you into what he needs you to be for his destiny. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Right. Father filter. Right, baby. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I say so. Please don't ever ask me. Do I, you have I, to go through this I, to be what you know? 
Because I'm going to want to keep you easy and comfortable because I love you. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, did I have to go through what I went through to now be alive to, to be here for just for my soul ministries? I say, so mm. please don't ask me God's wise. I'm, I, I am not that smart. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But I do understand his what's. Mm. <laughs> I don't know his why's, but I do understand his what's. Mm. Okay. So what you're going to do now is walk in it. Mm. You better. <laughs> but that strength <laughs> that we gain, that oh, strength yes. that we gain, yes. that yes. courage that we gain, Yes. Maybe to do something and not need anybody yes. to agree with you. That's liberation. Mm -hmm. That's right. Not yes. need anybody yes. to cheer you on. That is liberate. To, mm. to, to know you're being talked about. That is liberty. Mm. Mm -hmm. yes. mm. And not is. even care. Mm. So we got to stop fighting the small challenges so mm. he can get us used to. Mm -hmm. That's right. And groomed mm -hmm. into That's and the right. enemy's goal of course is to give you excuses make it easy she says on 123 mm -hmm. the second paragraph mm -hmm. from the bottom um with each new statement the enemy's voice encouraged jesus to do what have would have been mm -hmm. easier for him yeah. in his mm -hmm. current circumstance mm -hmm. right. to a man who hadn't eaten in more than a month, this was mm -hmm. just fasted for 40 days. 40 days. Turning mm -hmm. stones into bread would have sounded like a pretty good idea. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. Providing his supernatural abilities and flaunting his power by commanding the angels to catch his spectacular fall. He said, jump off this cliff, you know, if you're the son yeah, of yeah. God. Yeah. Right, right. Have made him look like a superstar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the easy thing to do. To do, yeah. yeah, yes, but to have divine peace to finish out this 40 day fast, mm -hmm. right, was the peaceful thing to do, yes, yes, was the peaceful thing to do. And the main points from this chapter, um, that she mm -hmm. has don't discount difficult possibilities, mm -hmm. don't discount difficult possibilities. Remember, your ego keeps you, I'm sorry, remember your ego keeps self-image intact. Mm -hmm. Your fears keep you safe. Your flesh wants its desires met. Mm -hmm. And finally, the enemy, enemy keeps you comfortable. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Yep. Yeah. When it comes to, to challenges. And then lastly, Peace and challenges can coexist. Wow. Amen. And I think that's probably Amen. the topic of all of our lives here nice. this morning. Yes. Yeah. And Reverend Oliver, can I just I just want to just please it just came to me right now. So on page 124, it says here, Satan's goal is to keep you in the cocoon, uh -huh. weak, mm -hmm. effortlessly, and lazy. But if we go back to that page where we first started yeah. with that struggle, mm -hmm. and all of us have struggles. Right. Yeah. You know, yes. um, and, and if we don't have struggles, like she said in here, we will never be able to reach our full potential. And that's oh what God. the enemy wants. Yeah. And want us to reach our full potential. Because see, he, see, he, was, yes. see, he was with God originally. Right. Uh -huh. But he got too puffed up, too prideful. Right. Yes. Got removed. Yes. Right. So he want us to join in with him, but devil, you a lie because I'm gonna reach yes. my full potential. That's right. right. Yeah. That's Jesus right. Name. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh even when he God. keeps us comfortable, even when he keeps us comfortable, that's exactly what he's doing. Yes. yes. Exactly. All what he's he's doing. Yeah. That's what Where he's doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lord, I'm about to jump off sweet. this chair. Help me, Father. I, um, Help me, God. <laughs> Anytime a person that you're you going to jump out. <laughs> I think that peace is not just a gift that we should hoard for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, Amen. For, for instance, if a person is worried or anxious, that permeates in a room. You can feel it. It's tangible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how we should be with peace. Mm -hmm. So that when the story is told, 
or when it unfolds mm -hmm. and people see the level of peace we had in the midst of it, yes. it will not only yield a harvest in our lives, but to all those who've been witness. That's right. Yes. yes. Even our children. That's yes. right. Yeah. And our children's children. Just like yes. you talked about that one seed could, you know, create a whole force. We don't know by accepting the peace of God, how that will affect mm, our generations. Mm, mm, mm. My God, mm -hmm. my God. Yeah. And if you guys are listening mm. to us, um, I encourage you, and I see many of you do because of your comments. I encourage you, join with Jesus Ministries. That's, that's, it's founder just spoke, Jennifer Edwards, Minister Amen. Jennifer Amen. Edwards. She is in a season of nightly scripture reading. And mm. sometimes I just want to throw that phone up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> those scriptures Amen. sound so good Amen. at the Amen. end of the day, but there's nothing like the sword of the word. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. There's nothing like the sword of yes. the word, and she talks about um that peace, just like anxiety can take over a room, negativity can take over a yes. room. Yes. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. makes it her business for the word to take over her dwelling place. Yes, to yes. take over. Uh, and share it with us. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, yes. Amen. Yeah. And share it with us. So you guys go in, join the group, group like the page. But mm -hmm. at the end of the work day, when you can just hear um, the scripture being read about a particular circumstance and then prayer, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. a beautiful way to just fall yes. face into yes. some That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. What a beautiful way it to is. fall face into some peace. Mm. So let me go ahead and get us closed out. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and put a plug out there right now. The next two chapters is fire. <laughs> okay. So I'm just talking. It's going to talk about truth and authority. You might as well go Ooh. on and get ready. Oh the next two God. chapters is fire. Okay. Just, just straight fire. Um. So those of you who may be joining us today and it's like, okay, these ladies are on 10 um, about Jesus, um, about this book study. You may not know him. You may not have a relationship with him. You mm -hmm. may not even understand what salvation is. So I want to share something with you, but you're feeling something stirring around on the inside of your heart or your mind or just a deep curiosity. Uh, I want to read these scriptures with you and then pray um, over you. If you are desiring to know more about God, to know God, or to fall head in love with him in a deep, intimate relationship. This is from the book of Romans, paraphrase, chapter 3, 23. All of us are sinful. Yes. All of us have sinned and sin in, trying daily, depending mm -hmm. on him to help us. Um, verse 6 and 23, the price for sin is death, but eternal life is a gift in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. We can't earn it. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. right. right. Verse 5, cha chapter 5, verse 8, God loves us so much. Christ died in our place. He loves us so much. Christ took the penalty of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 10. Chapter 10, verse 9, if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart mm -hmm. that Christ was raised from the dead, that he paid the price for the sin that you committed, past, present, and future, you will be saved. Then it goes on to say, because of your belief in Christ, you have been made right with God. You are at peace with God. Chapter 8, verse 1, there is no heavy weight of wrong for those who live for Christ. And lastly, my favorite, chapter 8, verse 38 through 39, I am fully convinced. Mm. That's the trust in him. That's the going mm -hmm. to him, asking for confirmation. That's the not depending on yourself. I'm fully convinced. Mm -hmm. Neither death nor life angels nor rulers nor things present nor things to come nor power nor height nor depth 
nor anything else in all creation, this whole world, can separate us from the love of God mm-hmm. in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Mm-hmm. If those scriptures reign true in your heart, your mind, just simply pray with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, okay. I know I'm not right. I've been living this life according to my own terms, doing exactly what I feel and not even considering you. I'm a sinner. I confess that. Mm. My conscience is telling me that. I'm not comfortable anymore. So Father, I'm asking you to come into my life. I believe that Jesus died in my place because that guilty price penalty was mine. I accept his love that he did it for me. Now, Father, I'm asking you in the form of your Holy Spirit to now come into my life and take over. So live inside of me. When I'm wrong, I can feel right. And when I go to left, I can feel you saying, no, go right. And Father, give me the strength to obey your spirit living in me. Yes, 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 I give you my mind, my heart, my life, my possessions, my body, my weaknesses. I give it all to you. Fill me up, God, in the name of Jesus. If you believe that with all you have, you're saved. Yes. You are saved. Your next step now is to grow. Okay? It's like babies start out on milk. You got to come on and Get your way up to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and get your way oh, up to, well, you know, some hamburger helper and go on to some uh-huh. filet mignon. You got to get to some yeah, meat. Yeah. You got to mature. And so I have, um, get in touch with us. Get in touch with mm-hmm. us. I'm mm-hmm. gladly to say our website has been updated. Um, please go out to see it. But you have several ways. You can go down to the bottom of any page and see contact information. I will talk to you about this relationship with Christ how you can grow, send you to a solid Bible-based church home. We have two first ladies right here. Their husbands are my brothers in Christ, solid biblical teachers. Clear Lake AME, Walking in Victory Church, solid biblical teachers. And so you can also grow with us at JMS Ministries, Just For My Soul Ministries. We're not a church. We're discipleship ministry. We're growing in Christ. We invite you to grow along with us. And I would love to introduce you to a church home where you can fellowship with a church family, be baptized. But if you're going to come along with us, here are some opportunities you have to grow in your relationship, to grow in your knowledge and intimacy with Mm -hmm. God. Prayer moments every Wednesday morning, 5.30 a.m., All of these are virtual, except our Wednesday 9 p.m. call is a conference call. Teaching sessions, the fall book study, which you are part of right now. This is our second book study, to God be the glory. Soul healing sessions. This Thursday, though, is Thanksgiving. So the group um, that chimes in for our soul healing session, I'm asking them to call in on Wednesday night, a conference call number for prayer. We can get together as a family and pray. And testimony interviews. It was last hosted on 1030, October the 30th, and that was with uh, Minister Linda Hewlett. All of these opportunities that you see here to grow in Christ, they are available on our YouTube channel, and they are available on our website. Um, I'm very relieved to say our website has been updated and it is out of sight. So I encourage you to go there. And if you were not with us when we started out this morning, our first in-person event in two years will be the culmination, the ending of this book study, chapter nine and 10, we're actually gonna do in person and we'd love to meet you. Um, Stay posted, stay tuned for post, that will be uh, uploaded to Facebook about the location, but it will be February the 19th from 10 to 12 noon, the third Saturday from 10 to 12 noon. 
same day that we normally do our book study, the third Saturday is going to be that morning. And we're going to have refreshments and goodies. We get to see each other in person, mm -hmm. um, laugh and talk. I don't know how we're going to get that on live. We'll figure that out because mm -hmm. we may just cut up in person. And we might not even put it on live. We just, we don't need no evidence of how we might act. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then again, we might. So uh, we'll get that figured out. But I wanted you to, to make note of that. And also um, in December, if you're just joining us, let me, let me find my December calendar. For seven days straight, December the 5th to December the 11th, that 9 p.m. call number, it's in this post. If you just in your Facebook scroll right in this post, um, that number. We will be using that number to pray every night at 9 p.m. December the 5th through December the 11th. For the next generation, every night we're going to hit a different topic. Please join us. On your screen, you have some contact information for just for my soul ministries. I want to thank you all for the donations that come in. You do that from the kindness of your heart. Um, this is the time of the season. We give a lot to food bank. We give a lot to individuals um, that are hurting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sending out a lot of encouragement to individuals with loss during this time, um, um, terminal diagnoses at this time, um, grieving. So know that your donations are being put to um, the work of the kingdom and encouragement of hearts, feeding of bellies. Um, we connect with the Houston Food Bank uh, heavily during the fall part of the year. So thank you and thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Always remember God is truly, truly a lover of your soul. And before we cut off with you guys, just let me say a prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank we you. thank you for this day. We thank you for everybody that's attending. Um, Father, my heart stays humble and melted and so grateful for the sacrifice of my sisters that joined me as panelists on this book study, God. But Father, this time of the year, I, we know can be triggers for some. It can be heavy for some. Um, it can be a new normal for some because of lost, because of lack, because of the change of circumstances and situations. But Master, my prayer is that in the midst of change and triggers and different settings and different environments or even different lifestyles, I pray that you would speak. I pray that you would move. I pray that you would um, give comfort. I pray that you would give stillness. I pray that you would just come with that supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding for all ages. Yes. I just think of those who recently lost their loved ones in the, the concert events, God. Yes. So many changes mm -hmm. in many of our lives for this fall, this holiday season. So master, we're just interceding for your comfort, your peace, your joy. You will surround them with individuals to laugh and smile and be grateful. We're all so very grateful for what we have that is left each and every day, God. We're yes. grateful and we're thankful. We thank you for this book study, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes. Yes. We thank you for this book study. So Father, just drop somebody on our minds and hearts that we can call and encourage or stop by and say hi. You've given us so much life to still live. Yes. In, the in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Let me stop sharing so you can see all of the beautiful ladies' faces. So we love you. We thank you. We thank you for your comments. Um, all of the panelists will kind of scroll through if you had any questions for any of them individually and get back with you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>